Hello everyone, my name is Trev. I am the Geekologist and the Geekology channel today is going to do a pretty much live unboxing of this. What a spiffing looking box, eh? But it's actually the Truth Ear Hexa and that looks a lot more attractive, doesn't it? Graph on the back for those who like graphs, I believe that is with the foam tips. They're trying to get it close to the HTRF or Harman Kardon tuning curve, which you may or may not like and you may or may not agree with, but that's the aim of most of these companies out here. And how are they going to achieve that? Well, the hexa, hexa means six, by the way. And this is a hybrid with four drivers. We'll get into what hexa might mean later on. Yeah, the spec is pretty much the usual. It's 20 to 20 hertz in real life. And here, is the actual box. A very angular looking see-through. I don't dislike, I don't dislike those contours at all. I'm wondering whether they will hurt my ears, but I'm going to reserve judgment until I put them on. So what this is all about is basically I'm going to unbox them live. As you can see, I've just opened this box up and I'll stick them on and give you my warts and all opinion on them. And you'll get my, my instant reactions to this as we go. Well, that is a nice case. I like that. It feels like it's leather. That's really nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I've got a lot. That's uh, a unique case compared to any of the others I've seen. And in 10 years of doing review, and I've seen a lot of cases. So that's really nice to have something a bit different. And it feels like it's leather, even if it's not. They've convinced me. Yeah, it's leather. We're going to call it leather. And in they go. I'm going to use, there's a load of tips there, as you can see. I'm not going to use the foams at the bottom. There's quite a roll off on the graph for the foams. So I'm going to go for the silicones. I'm going to go for the wide nozzled silicones as a halfway house to try these on first. Because the next thing I'm going to be doing obviously is trying them out. I'm not going to put them directly into my smartphone. I've got something better than that. Shanling UP4 2022, which will have a much better sound quality than my smartphone. So I'm going to give them a little try with those and then give you my instant impression. So in real time, five minutes is going to elapse. But in your time, in YouTube time, it's going to be more like five seconds. Before we do that, obviously you want to know how they fit and what my immediate impression is on any immediate aches and pains. Nope, I'm getting a good seal already. I was pondering why these were called the Hexa. It's pretty obvious, isn't it? Let's count the size, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm really quite a fan of these, looks wise. At $79.99, do not expect the last word in audio excellence 
for these when you turn these up really loud they do start to sound a little bit edgy they don't need to be up at that volume that sort of volume I'm talking about is the sort of volume where you're going to get some ringing in your ears if you listen to it for more than shall we say 10 or 15 minutes I just wanted to turn them out really loud to see what they could do but at moderate listening volumes which is where you need to be as a listener these come across very very well you get some air pushing against your earlobes for bass response you get a sparkle in the mids and highs that you would expect from a dynamic balanced armature design that's done properly it's not particularly uncomfortable in the ears yes some of these pointy designs are gonna not suit everybody's ear but my ears are quite finicky and I didn't have any particular problems with mine just a slight pressure on the left ear before I leave you let's recap these should be quite sensitive they're a very low impedance and a very high sensitivity and yet I would recommend amplification to get the best out of these dynamic hybrid balanced armature design is trying to be achieving the bass response of a dynamic which in my opinion dynamics are really good at bass and an electrostat plane a type response by using the balanced armature drivers and I think these go some way to achieving that for $79.99 you're getting a quite daring design which I like you're getting a few sets of tips you're getting a half decent cable and you're getting a lovely leather pouch a good effort from truth here I prefer these to the planers that I've got at $99.99 because they're just a more normal sound before I leave you a gentle reminder about subscription it costs nothing to do it's very easy to do but what it does do is it gives us the opportunity to bring you more things like this out and until the next one have a great time listening to your music